Uh, hi, uh, this is um, a video response to um, the YouTube user called Magic Man ZZ. So, um, the question was how to configure your sound card um, with the iMix Reload. So, um, I will explain you how to do it today. Um, I'm using a, um, a computer who has Windows v Vista. And um, I'm using Decadance, which is um, which I have um, updated, but it's still the LE version. So let's take a look. So first, you have to go into Audio here. Um, then, um, when you're looking at your audio, you see Primary Sound Device dri Driver, which is um, your computer speakers. So what you need to do is go into ASIO for All V2. So you can see you have speakers, which is our USB sound device, which comes with the iMix Reload. We have our speaker HP, which is um, the built-in speaker with your computer. And then you have the ASIO for all V2. So here it is. Then you press this. Um, once you press this, if you've never done this before, here's what I would advise you to do is press control panel then you will see um, that we have our um, ASIO for all which is opened um, so what what do we have we have our out function which is our out it's um, it's like the master output in our um, computer and we have our output in um, in our um, on our USB sound card and we have our input which is being used here because there is a cross so as an advice I would advise you to um, once you've installed the software I would advise you to do two things number one is go um, go on the internet and update the ASIO for all v2 driver because um, I installed it and at first it did not work very well so I, w I said to myself maybe I should go and update it then I updated it it did not work very well so what I did is that I rebooted it I rebooted my computer and when I rebooted it worked perfectly immediately so do this try it out and um, and then after here is the setup right here so now we're good and now let's take a look at our output routing right here we have our master our master left and right, which is our HD, uh, which is the built-in sound card in our computer. We've got our monitor left and monitor right, which is for pre-listening, which means that this allows you to pre-listen your track before playing it in your headphones. And this is our sound device. And here we have our input and input, which is our microphone or something like this. But I'm using it right now to record uh, my voice. So now that we have this done, you can just play a track, try it out, and um, and it should work because I've done it. And um, and please, uh, please, please tell me if you can't, um, if you're not able to do it, I will try to help you and give you a hand uh, because this is not easy. Okay. So you guys keep tuned, and, um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to um, post underneath the video. Okay, bye.